Oh hey, this is Josh from the Dad Days. I was just grabbing my starter to show you guys my starter routine. How I care for it and how I prepare it to bake bread. Come on, let's go. Welcome back to the Dad Days everyone. I'm Josh. I'm a stay-at-home dad creating content for more than dads. Let's get into my sourdough starter routine. Taking care of sourdough starter can be a tricky thing. Everybody wants to bake sourdough bread, but learning how to care for and manage a sourdough starter is a whole nother thing. This video is not about learning how to make a sourdough starter. I have a few videos about that and I will link them at the end. This video is just about my routine about using my starter. You saw me in the beginning of the video taking it out of the fridge. Usually I like to do that depending on the temperature of your house, depending on the humidity, the environment. There's a lot of things that I can't necessarily teach you. I can just show you how I do it. Hopefully you're able to see what I do and practice and and figure out what's best for you in your environment okay so i always try depending on what kind of bread i'm making or what my schedule is like i either take my starter out of the fridge the night before i'm going to be making bread and i get a levon going or i do it first thing in the morning about so it's either it could be anywhere from 8 to 12 hours before I'm going to be making a bread or just 2 to 4 hours it really kind of depends the the major point is you want to if you store your starter in the fridge like I do I use a semi no discard method so Week to week, I'm storing my sourdough starter in the fridge and I'm removing it, taking it out, and creating a Levon before I'm going to be baking bread. And then I'm putting my starter back in the fridge. It basically lives in the fridge and I just remove it um, anywhere from 2 to 12 hours before I'm going to be making bread and feed it make a Levon, put it back in. So that's where we're going to be starting. Let's go. Okay, so my, my starter is out of the fridge. It lives in a container like this. Once every so often, I remove it to just clean the, the sides, like scrape it down, wash it, clean the container. But that doesn't happen that often. I usually, feed my starter a, at a one to one ratio. So if I put 50 grams of flour in my starter, I add 50 grams of warm water to my starter. So what I'll be doing today, I'm going to be baking two loaves of bread and I need about 150 grams for each loaf of bread. So I'm going to remove 150 grams of starter and then I'm going to be feeding it equal parts 75 grams of flour and 75 grams of warm water so I end up with about 100 or about 300 grams of starter for my two loaves of bread and then I will refeed my starter and pop it back in the fridge so Let's go. So we're up to 102 grams. I need about 48 more grams, roughly. And I'm okay if it goes a little bit over because that ensures me that I will definitely have enough for my two loaves of bread. So you know what? 161 that's good enough for me I'm going to feed so this is my Levon basically a Levon is a mini starter so you have 
your main sourdough starter container. This is your mother starter, if you will. And then a Levon is you remove starter from that and create a little active sourdough starter that you use this to then bake your bread. I'm going to be feeding this about equal parts. So I'm going to be using whole wheat flour and a high gluten bread flour. I'm just looking for a total of 75 grams. So I'm just eyeballing it. So that's going to be my Levon. I'll mix that up later. Right now, I'm just going to feed my starter. Zero out the scale. I'm going to be doing about 50-50. So 25 grams white flour, high gluten bread flour, and 25 grams whole wheat. I always recommend using the highest quality flour that you can afford. Organic is best. I use organic King Arthur flour and then 50 grams of warm water. That's my Levon and my starter. I'll just mix them up. So that's my routine. That's my starter routine. That's how I care for it on a weekly basis. You really just go by once you have your core recipes and you know how much Levon you need to bake bread. I knew that I would need about 300 grams for the two loaves that I'm going to be making. So I removed from my mother starter container and created the Levon that I need. I feed my starter. The only thing I do after that is I put the lids loosely on. This will be staying out because I will be mixing up bread in two to four hours. So I'll let this sit out and get active. I'll let this sit out for one to two hours and then pop it back in the fridge and it'll be in the fridge for another one to two weeks until I want to make bread again. Um, that's really all there is to it for maintaining your sourdough starter. Once you have an active sourdough starter, it's very easy to take care of it and use it on a week to week basis to bake bread. If you want to learn how to make a sourdough starter of your own, check out one of these videos at the end. And as always, Stay tuned for more dad days. See ya.